Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And here I have a couple huge old Moreton Bay fix in the beautiful city of Valencia in Spain. Well, the fruits of the Moreton Bay fig there, not bad. Not as good as uh, Ficus carica, but it's one of the edible figs. However, unfortunately, the season is over. Lots of mummified fruits still lying under the tree, but nothing edible dropping here. The good thing is here in Valencia, they put those labels on the old trees. There are a couple old Moreton Bay figs around here, see? There is one over here, one over here. By the way, I'm here right next to Jardine Steturia, uh, which doesn't tell you much because Jardine Steturia is a park that's like seven kilometers long. I'm next to the, um, uh, to the metro stop uh, Alameda. Yeah, beautiful tree. Unfortunately, despite putting those nice labels here, they don't put the approximate age. I don't know if they don't know it in most cases, if they don't want to uh, write something wrong, or if it's just not intended to put the age here. Yeah, it's a monumental tree, but how old is it? Those figs grow very fast. This could be like, I don't know, man, 100, 150 years old. That's very young for such an old tree. Well, it has some milky sap coming down here. Yesterday I chewed some sap from Ficus Elastica, but no, this is not elastic. The sap is not chewable. Let's check out the other monumental, um, the other monumental um, Ficus Macrophylla. Beautiful trees. I love that they can grow to such incredible sizes in a comparatively short time. It's very impressive. Yeah, I really would like to know the age because, well, I mean, hmm, it's from Australia. The Europeans went to Australia a bit over 200 years ago, and I don't think that the first thing they did is bring some fix back to Spain. Spain was not uh, very active in the colonization of Australia. It was more the Netherlands and later uh, especially Britain. Well, and even before that, some Indonesian islands, which discovered and colonized Australia before the Europeans. Just recently, the, the Australian government kicked those people out, um, uh, banned them from fishing in the Australian waters, despite them having been there long before the white men. Of course, not as long as the Aborigines. Well, as I said, 200-something years would be the maximum possible age, but I think the age is more closer to 100, 120, 130 years. Please tell me if you know how old those things are. This one, same thing, no good fruits on the ground. Yeah, if they are, if they are of good quality, this species has totally edible and enjoyable fruits. And also those... Um, those fig trees are not the only monumental trees here. The park of Jardines de Turia, which is uh, down there in the old river bed, is quite new, less than 50 years old. But this little park here must be much older because there are a lot of monumental trees. Look at this. What is this? Washingtonia. It should be Washingtonia. Washingtonia robusta. Funny thing is that Washingtonia robusta is not looking very robust. Washingtonia filifera is much thicker. Washingtonia robusta is very thin. So why is this a monumental ancient tree if it's so thin? Well, because palm trees, they don't increase in thickness. Here you can see this thing when it was planted, it was cared for very well, so it grew very thick, and later the care decreased, so it grew thinner. But with age, it grows taller. So this is a very tall tree, meaning this is a very old Washingtonia. And here we have, here we have a Ficus, uh, no, uh, sorry, not, not Ficus, a Phoenix Dactylifera, uh, an Arabian fig, uh, an Arabian date, sorry, oh man. <coughs> I don't know why 
this one has the uh, has the label of monumental tree and the one that's next to it and a bit taller oh yes it also has a label on the other side and why doesn't this thick one have a label here <laughs> over there those are Washingtonia filifera and it seems that they are very popular with the rats just like this phoenix here you see some of those trees have this metal collar uh, for the palm trees the metal collar is not a big problem because as I said they don't increase in thickness but uh, the, metal, the metal collar prevents rats and in other areas also uh, squirrels um, uh, civets or monkeys to climb the tree like their claws can claw very well into organic material like bark wood and the and the spongy uh, sometimes spongy sometimes woody palm stems uh, no usually more woody but their claws cannot claw into metal that's why those colors prevent prevent the rats from going up there destroying the birds nests uh, chewing on the uh, chewing on the young butt of the palm well those Washingtonias here don't have the sign monumental tree I mean yeah they are a little bit shorter and younger but on the other hand why doesn't this big date palm have the sign monumental tree it looks to be taller than the two over there it's a good system with those monumental trees in Valencia also the funny thing is not only in Valencia I also saw this around Malaga uh, if you type if you type um, botanic garden they will show you a lot of nice botanic parks and gardens but they also show they will also show you old monumental trees on Google Maps um, yeah very impressive <laughs> and the other thing is if you well I'm too lazy to go back to the labels now but it said Arbre Monumental. You feel like you are in France, but you are in Spain. But actually you are not in Spain. You are in Valencia, which linguistically is part of Catalonia. Uh, Catalan is another Romanic language or Romance language. And those labels, since they are put up by the regional government, of course they are put up in their regional language. Uh, those regional languages can be a little bit of a... Let's see... Now, why don't those two palms, they also should be monumental trees. Those regional languages, they can be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Once I had to read some papers by the, <clears throat> by the regional, well, which were financed by the regional government of the Balearic Islands, which is also a Catalan-speaking region. <laughs> so they were not in Spanish, they were in Catalan. Yeah. So those labels, they sound and look more French than Spanish but they are put up by the local uh, regional government <clears throat> uh, which is basically something like the state in the United States so it's the state of uh, Valencia it, it used to be its own kingdom be before it became part of Spain well folks so good thing that you have those uh, labels here in Valencia you can see the name and you can see which trees are considered uh, monumental by the regional government tell me how old you think those Moreton Bay fix and those different palm trees are tell me where to find more monumental trees in Valencia uh, and yeah this happens a lot on the way to the nearby Montfort gardens I found another monumental Moreton Bay thick. This one even more impressive. I mean here this I think it must have broken off at some time at around four or five meters above ground because this all looks like new growth which grew like in the last 20 30 years. It's very impressive. This thing is what eight nine meters wide in this direction and a lot less wide in this direction maybe less than four meters so quite an asymmetrical tree but very impressive from this side and the good thing is that it is more or less in season there are fruits everywhere uh, well not really in season those are pretty hard fruits I think it's shedding 
maybe the male fruits I think I see stamens here I'm not sure yeah those are definitely not the ones intended to be eaten by birds they are tough and I mean yeah they are tough and sour I'm sure you could put them in a curry just like jackfruit they would add bulk and fibrous um, and um, fibrous texture uh, to the They would add bulk and fibrous texture to the curry, but yeah, they are also okayish to eat. I mean, they are tough and sour, but so a lot of other unripe fruits. Yeah, so keep your eyes open when you're in Valencia, folks. There are so many beautiful old trees, and a lot of them get those French-sounding labels. More impressive, Moreton Bay fix around the Jardins de Glorieta in the old town of Valencia. All those trees seem to be more or less the same age. I think somebody just bred a lot of seedlings or maybe there were cuttings at the same time and planted them throughout the city. And the couple have survived. One part of this has broken off. So you can see what it looks like from the inside. Of course, they destroy roads and parapets and everything with their big roots. <laughs> I doubt the people who planted them probably around 150 years ago thought that they would <laughs> demolish this massive stonework. Well, not soon, but after some time. But yeah, <laughs> I would just build the parapet a little bit further away. I would rebuild it a little bit further away in order to have a parapet and also the beautiful tree. Inside the proper Jardins de Glorieta there are a couple more of those beautiful trees. Yeah, you can never have enough giant, ancient or at least pretty old figs. Just plant them uh, with enough distance. They have done this here. As you can see, they have planted them, what, 30, 40 meters apart. That's a clever move. Very few people would plant trees 30, 40 meters apart. Very few people would think that far ahead. Maybe there were others in between and later they got removed. Also planting them together can also be very nice. In Malaga there is a spot where they have planted a couple of those pretty close together and they form a grove. I think in some cases even they merge. Yeah, if you would plant a lot of those, if you would take cuttings from one tree they would be clones, they would be genetically the same. And then you would plant them like 10, 15 meters apart and wait a hundred years and write to everybody that, and write somewhere in the records that those are clones of one single tree, they are genetically the same. And then a hundred years later, when the branches start to touch, the people start interweaving them, like using those aerial roots to connect the trees with one another. The trees should merge because they are genetically the same tree. They would probably even merge if they are not genetically the same tree, but it would help. And then you would create a giant maze and you could build a giant, a giant city. Well, not a giant city. You could put a little village in those trees. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of fantasizing right now. But I think at least in Malaga you could do this here. They have planted them far apart to prevent this, but in other places, tell me what you think about my idea. The ones you cannot Google in five seconds. And apart of that, if you want to receive more such content, it's not enough to subscribe to my channel because YouTube kind of stopped recommending my videos even to subscribers. Uh, better press the little bell icon to be notified of all new uploads.